Welcome students to Communication 100. In this video, we will look at some of the terms that you will find in Chapter 1. So let's begin. You will find both verbal messages and nonverbal messages. Well, verbal messages are just words. Hello, how are you? Nonverbal include gestures, facial movements, expressions, even clothing. So what are gestures? Let's look at that word. Gestures are hand, body, head movements, anything we use without words. Gestures. And then we get tone of voice. Tone of voice is how you say something. Now, in communication, you will find these two words, a sender and a receiver. Well, sender just means the person sending the message. They are the person who start the message. And you'll find this word, the source or originator, just means the person who starts the message. And then the receiver is the person who gets the message. And they will decode it. Now, let's look at these two terms. We get encoding. And that's the person who is speaking. They will put it into words or they will write the message. Okay. And then we get decoding. And that is this person here, the receiver. And they will understand or try to understand the message. So the sender encodes, puts the message in words or writing. And the receiver decodes, tries to understand or reads the message. Now, in communication, we get something called feedback, and that's just something that happens when a person has understood your message. You will say, hello, how are you? And the person will say, I am fine, thank you. That is feedback when they respond to your message. Feedback can also be a question. What did you mean? Right, then you're going to find a word in chapter one, filter. Well, filter is anything that blocks a message. If we look at this uh, GIF, he's explaining something. This guy is looking at a message on his phone. It's blocking the message. He's not concentrating. This guy is thinking about something else. Um, things like age, when you try to explain technology to an older person like a parent, there's a, f a filter because they don't understand technology like you do. So you get feedback and you get a filter. Right, then we get the channel of communication. And that is how a person sends a message. Now, it could be face to face speaking. It could be via a phone. It could be via email, text. It's how a person sends the message to the receiver is called the channel. Now, in communication, we get something called noise. Now, noise is anything that is going to interfere, that word there, interfere with a message. Now, it could be background noise in traffic. It could be music playing in the background. It could be you are texting while someone's talking to you, and that's going to create noise. Now, you're going to find this word, you should have learned this in English 101, context. Context just means the words around a word or the things around the communication environment. So you get a physical context. Where are we? Classroom, in the car, outside. You get a psychological context, a relational context, in other words, when I'm speaking with my father, I have a relationship and that opens the communication and you get a social context. Now, another term you will find in communication is transaction. And that just means an exchange of information. That word also means when we buy something, it's a transaction. There's a price and I pay it. Transaction means the exchange of information in communication. 
Now we move on to two words that are very similar. You get intrapersonal, and I've broken it down for you like that. Intrapersonal. And that is communication within yourself. Your thoughts, emotions, perceptions of yourself. And the word intra just means within. Intra communication. Now you get a very similar word. And that is this word, interpersonal communication. Inter. There it is there. Can you see the difference is in interpersonal communication? And that is communication with other people. Inter means between. So you get intrapersonal communication, your thoughts, interpersonal communication when you are with other people. Try to listen to the difference between those two terms. Right, one more slide. Now, in communication, you get presentational communication. And a presentation is a speech or a talk to an audience. So it's when you are speaking to a big group and you're trying to inform or persuade them. And then you get a smaller type of communication, group communication. And that is between people who have common interests, like a business meeting at work, um, a staff meeting, a, a sports coach speaking to his team before they play. That is the end of chapter one. Please review because these are new terms in communication.